the night siddhartha gautam was renouncing his wife his son and his palace he was the son of a king the night he was renouncing everything channa his charioteer got the chariot for him so that he could drop him at the boundary of the kingdom and then buddha would be on his own it's the middle of the night dead silence imagine outside the palace if there's a horse cart in the dead silence with channa his charioteer and buddha on it once the cart moves it will create a lot of noise the cart will make a lot of noise the horses will make a lot of noise the story goes to create the soundlessness there suddenly from nowhere all the roads were laden with lotus flowers remember it's a story but there's a meaning in this and when the horse cart ran through the flowers there was just no sound flowers absorbed all the sound nature was supporting buddha as lot of people say to run away nature was supporting buddha to renounce and move away without anybody knowing it nature was in full support is nature supporting us some feel yes some feel no because we get lot of turbulence in our sadhana also in our spiritual journey also what's the point here if your thirst if your quest becomes one pointed like buddha like siddhartha da gautam this entire universe will come and support you why would universe do that why would universe do that do you think it's only you who are searching for the truth and struggling because of that or truth is also waiting for you satya ishwara is also waiting for you it's not a one sided journey it's just not me walking towards that it's that also facilitating that also wants to meet me it's a two way process but that which you call god or nature or universe will only support if i want to really walk towards that buddha was wanting to really walk towards that nature came and supported it's a two way process mind you it's just not your effort your truth also is seeking you it's just not you seeking your truth your truth is also seeking you provided you're really seeking it then the truth at the other end gets activated so in buddha's case that was what happened but i meet a lot of seekers lot of sadhaks lot of meditators and their complaint often is we've left our jobs we've dedicated ourselves to the sadhana we've moved towards the alternate lifestyle to find the truth but there are lot of hindrances sometimes money dries up sometimes people trouble me sometimes my family troubles me sometimes my social conditioning they say why are you leaving the job you should come do the job are you mad people pull us that's what people say that's what meditators say there are lot of things which pull us back we not able to do our meditation and most of the time the mind pulls us back i just said if you really want to know the truth the truth also wants to seek you and nature facilitates this meeting but in our case nature is not facilitating the meeting why two things here to be noted number 1 look into your own lives very authentically and see is your quest is single pointed like the buddha if yes only then truth will seek you otherwise not otherwise nature will not support your meditation because you're just not seeking it the right way number 2 if you are encountering a lot of difficulties on the path it means hear these words carefully if you are encountering a lot of problems on the path it means your ahama your ego self is way too large and way too stubborn that's the only meaning the stronger the ego self is the more difficulties on the path you will encounter because nature wants to cut your ego and you made a very large strong ego it has to be beaten down again and again and again before it breaks so those difficulties that you think are troubling you is actually nature's way of supporting you the day you change your drishti your way of looking at it that same day all the problems will start to help you out on the journey 